previous video, we have explained what an inference was, and we said that there were three types of inferences. Let's exemplify them with the traditional example of the white beans in the bag. In the case of the deduction, the de conclusion necessarily derives from the premise, and I insist on the word necessarily. We start with the rule as the first premise. For example, all the white beans in this bag are white. Then the case, which corresponds to the second premise. The beans are from this bag. And then the conclusion, the result is, the beans I am taking from this bag are necessarily white. If the rule I said in the premises is true, there's no other option. It is an, a necessity. It's, not, it's the only kind of inference where you have such a necessity. You'll see about that with other inferences like induction now. So for the case of induction, we start with a bag full of beans. And I'm taking a handful of them as a sample. So we start with a case. The beans are from this bag. And we have the, then the, the result. All the beans I took are white. So these are the two premises. And now we go to the conclusion. That is the general rule. Because remember, an induction is a form of generalization. In this case, based on the sample. And in this case, the general rule is all the beans from this bag are probably white. And I insist here on the word probably. Because unless you check all the beans one by one, you cannot exclude that at least one of the beans isn't white. Do you see the difference with deduction where there was a necessity, an induction here, which is a generalization, and there's a probably in the conclusion. It is also the case of the last inference we will talk about, abduction, the formulation of an hypothesis. So in the case of abduction, you start with the result. The beans I found, for instance, on the floor, are white. The second premise here is a rule. All the beans from this bag are white. And the conclusion of the argument is an hypothesis. Because remember, abduction is about formulating an hypothesis. And in this case, the hypothesis is the following. The beans I found on the floor, whatever, are probably from this bag. And again, I insist on the word probably. They could be from another bag as well, for all you know. There is only one case where you can use the word necessarily, and it is in the deduction. And that's why in empirical sciences like biology, you never confirm, confirm or prove an hypothesis. You corroborate it because you use induction to do so. In other words, you have evidence that tend to support your hypothesis, but you will never find anything that proves it once and forever, once and for all, like a deduction would do. Logically speaking, natural sciences, the science is nothing more but a succession of those three inferences. Abduction, deduction and induction. And for each one of these inferences, you can find a specific type of fallacy. For instance, affirming the consequent is a formal fallacy associated to deductive reasoning. On the other hand, hasty generalization is an issue of inductive reasoning. And finally, ad hoc hypotheses, or other words, far-fetched uh, hypotheses, are a problem of abductive reasoning. These concepts may seem a bit complicated, but you'll see they are of great help when you try to categorize fallacies. And trust me, having a good typology in mind sure helps you to navigate into the sea of fallacious reasoning that extends way beyond the horizon.